uncertainty, uh, let's roll the tape right now. Jim Adams, a modest, has uh, gone up and I tell you what, folks, stepped out and continues technology, the technology and development of this eight row self-contained peanut combine. You heard it, eight row self-contained peanut combine. It was operating yesterday up in Henry County, Alabama, and uh, what a sight it is to see. Take a look at this. Eight rows at one time. Uh, the combine is moving somewhere, I would estimate, in the vicinity of two miles an hour. This combine also can be used with a six-row head instead of the eight-row, and it will make uh, quite a bit better time with uh, the six-row uh, as opposed to the eight-row. But uh, we talked for a few minutes with uh, Mr. Jim Adams, and he is continuing to develop uh, not only this combine, but uh, continuing to be in the forefront of the peanut industry. A modest eight rows at one time. The basket dump, about 7,500 pounds. And you can see uh, this is quite a piece of machinery. It is built on a 9,600 John Deere combine chassis. Quite an awkward sight to see if you're just traveling down the highway and see, you know, happen to come up on one of these. And that's what, that's, this uh, is not on the market yet. There are two of these in existence. They will be on the market in 1996. And uh, this picker will be on display at the Ag Expo next month over in Moultrie, Georgia. There again, another nice eight row swat with the Amatis. And uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, stay with us just a couple of minutes, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about peanut picking could come to a close, shut down for a couple of days with our weather forecast that we'll tell you about in just a matter of moments. But this is, uh, uh, I agree with one gentleman that was watching this yesterday, an awesome piece of machinery, eight rows of peanuts going through at one time. And that was up yesterday afternoon in Henry County. We appreciate uh, the time that Mr. Jim Adams, uh, Mr. Modis, uh, they call him, uh, spent with us talking to us and his continuing development and uh, wanting to be in the forefront of the peanut industry. And uh, that's that big eight row self-contained unit comes with a six row head. And as we said, it will be on display over in Moultrie at the Ag Expo. We're running a little bit short of time. Uh, I want to see that, uh, okay, we want to see a little break right now, and then we'll come right back and close the program out as Top of the Morning continues on TV 18. Stay with us. I'm growing up on Kelly meats. Because Mom knows that breakfast is the most important meal of the day for young students, she serves me Kelly meats. I can almost taste the hickory flavor of Kelly's bacon when I wake up, and I can smell that hickory smoked sausage and hear it sizzling in the pan. We're proud of the quality and great tasting products your family deserves. Perk up your day with Kelly Meats. Mom's got a refrigerator full of Kelly's fine products. Ask your favorite grocers for Kelly's. Mark Dunning Industries has been locally owned and operated since 1980. That means they've been in the commercial refuse business for over 14 years. Currently, MDI handles over 6,200 tons of refuse a month. Our business is to provide you with a quality commercial refuse service, and it's available in Dothan for the first time. So let Mark Dunning Industries handle all your refuse needs. The choice is yours. Call today for a price quote from Mark Dunning Industries. Time to continues on TV 18, and I tell you what, a lot of calls on that uh, combine, and I uh, tell you what, it is, it is an awesome piece of machinery. It's, uh, you saw it right, eight rows, a modest self-contained, uh, and uh, it was in operation up in Henry County yesterday, and that thing will be on display in Moultrie, Georgia, at the Ag Expo. And uh, can we get a little bit more of that tape on there? Okay, oh, that's, that's Miss Sydney Blankenship. She enjoyed the, the picker yesterday, and there's, there's that monstrosity uh, dumping some 7,500 pounds at one time. 30% chance of rain today, 40 tonight, 50-50 for tomorrow. Hope and pray we get the rain. We need it, folks, here in the Wiregrass area. And uh, that's about all of our time, but as long as we 
watch 7,500 pounds of peanuts go in the trailer. Hopefully we'll get the rain, and uh, we'll see you folks Monday morning with several updates for you on top of the morning. Thanks, Lieutenant Stan Kirkland, and all the folks who contributed to this morning's show. We'll see you folks Monday morning, starting at 4.30. Have a good weekend, everybody.